And when I was in the IT industry, I got accustomed with uh, Scrum and Agile. For almost 10 years, I implemented Scrum and Agile you know, with the team, various teams. In that course, I figured out there is certain strength in the policy circle. It has its own beauty. While Agile and Scrum has its own beauty, they try to present themselves independent to each other, but they are basically trying to serve or do similar things. And since 2021, I started uh, seeing the potential of getting them together and talking to real experts who have lived through that, lived through the entire life on quality circle, term quality management, or sin country. They say to me one good thing. Uh, he operates from UK. He's written a fine book on self-organizing team and Hosin Kandri and Holy Circle. Uh, he is uh, one expert on, on all this uh, kind of thing. His name is David Hortons. Um, he is a real expert. And then he says only those people who partially understand quality or true quality management would isolate Agile and a quality moment. Fundamentally, what Agile and Scrum has to offer, that was already a part of a culture of Toyota style management, is nothing different. And after these two years of presenting in different international conferences, in different places, you know, in the UK and Korea, and uh, that one was in Nepal. When I presented all that, I took plenty of input from the scholars. I decided now we need to blend them together. And then comes the Zaya Circle. Zaya Circle is a hybrid approach to two of pain, that is the agility and the quality circle. So it's open, adaptive, collaborative, and creative by nature. That's me. That long background, then six until today, have you worked in the Quality Circle on Agile, brings in Agile Circle in front of you. And today, I'm not an instructor, you're not a learner. Uh, we are collaborating partner. And we want, I want to collaborate with all of you, like Gregory uh, asked me to do this workshop. But we want to form a collaborative team to promote this idea here in the US and the rest of the world. That's uh, uh, what the objective for the day. Uh, but before we begin, let's introduce ourselves. We have now almost a member. I was waiting for the last member, but still, yeah, he'll be introducing himself when he comes. Good morning. My name is Gregory Louis. I am a entrepreneur wannabe. <laughs> so I have a, a concept for using Agile Circles in my business when I launch it so that I can get things done. Now, we met at Traction Thursday. Every Thursday in Fairfield, there is at noon from 1 p.m. a kind of a entrepreneurial circle where people present. And Ravi presented his Agile Circles and I immediately saw it would be beneficial for I guess creating an ecosystem in Fairfield for organizations who want to get things done. Because the premise of Agile Circles is to increase the effectivity of groups and organizations and get them to complete things on time in these things called Sprint. I immediately saw that value. When I asked people around town, do you see the value in it? They said yes. We have lots of great ideas, but we have little follow through to completion. And that's what this Agile Circles is about. When I spoke to the director of Visit Fairfield, who's the marketer of Fairfield, she said to us, she said, uh, we need to organize people and create facilitators in town. So the, the goal is each organization will have a facilitator trained in agile circles when i spoke to ravi about that he said this could be a seed of a community of practice starting in fairfield we could come back and create more and more workshops 
uh, Fairfield could be a center of agile circles for nonprofit organizations and businesses. And so you're here in our inaugural, in an inaugural event, our first pilot, and the hope is that this will be nurtured and grown and it will create a resilient and economically thriving Fairfield and MIU. So thank you for being here. Welcome. This is a wonderful uh, event and best wishes to you and the organizations that you plan to be participating. Thank you. Sure. So my name is David and for some of you guys that know me, some of you guys don't, um, I've been here at MIU for two semesters now and uh, before I came here and even still to this day, I do online coaching for peak performance consulting and that's uh, a brand that I started like three years ago called the Townsend Technique and it's primarily promoted through Instagram, primarily um, as well through YouTube and it basically guides people through the seven fundamental pillars of a holistic lifestyle. And then I also have another company I started with a couple friends about two years ago, and that one's called Eternal Light Technology. It's an EMF protection based brand that has uh, different types of jewelry protection for phone cases, uh, for different parts of your lifestyle to shield from EMF radiation. And it also uh, provides you with an artistic sense of how to implement that into your, your lifestyle. So those are the two main brands that I've worked on here and also been a part of the different committees within um, social media assistance and marketing for, uh, oh, got some new people here. Yeah, All good. And um, yeah, so those are the main things that I've been working on here and also within the sustainable living department, seeking to help them to grow as much as they possibly can right now and we're organizing for different events that are going to be held later on this year and ultimately I, my vision i feel this is a very pivotal part of that to help build facilitators leaders around the globe that can consciously spread the messages to regenerate and heal our planet starting with the people the places and the committees and the teams that are going to be needed to make that happen so very blessed to be here. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Faith Reeves. I'm the sustainability coordinator for Fairfield presently. I'm about eight months into this position. Uh, I've spent the last 15 years of my life working with soil health, farming, regenerative ag. I was a student here in 2009 and uh, before the region ag program started. I have worked with uh, local nonprofits and organizations, organizations in the community around food security, food insecurity. Um, I've done a lot with home garden support for our local Fairfieldians. And my position currently is a uh, public-private partnership. So I'm uh, partially funded by the city, partially funded by MIU, and primarily funded by the community, 54 different donors. We're working with a group of about 30 professionals in the community volunteering their time to help write a resiliency plan for Fairfield. That's called the Resilient Action Committee. And we are, again, eight months into the planning process. We're working in um, thematic areas around land use, private land stewardship, food waste, food security, local food systems, same farm viability as a map, uh, waste management, business, or excuse me, enterprise solutions and community connections, and building some energy and yeah, I have a lot to learn, and this is going to be a great process for me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Hi, good morning, everyone. I am Sandra, and currently I am enrolled as a student in MIO since this February in SAP ERP and Analytics. And so while I was involved in business back in my home country, Nepal also, I saw there are still some loopholes that we need to learn, and maybe I'm interested in here also in business and analytics. So I thought, okay, let's see what the workshop goes for me, so I'm here. Thank you. Hi everyone, I graduated uh, with higher data, and it's actually very difficult to make money with higher data, even though I can make some great teas and oils and things like that. <laughs> um, so I'm interested to learn on the business side of things, and I'm 
very happy to be here with you all. I've attended a few startup weekends, so I'm familiar with a business model canvas and things like that. Uh, yeah. What is your name again? I, I saw I missed that. Enrique. Thank you, Enrique. Excuse me, thank you, uh, Robbie and Gregory, for putting this on. My name is Nahal Michael Morgan at MIU for about seven and a half years. Um, I do have about a decade plus experience in nonprofit administration and working in startups. Um, more recently, I moved into a new role as the director of uh, our operational, sorry, our director of our PS Equipment Office, which falls under Operational Excellence Team, brand new team at MIU. And um, it's largely about um, everything we're doing today is, is what we're trying to do for the university. So I saw an opportunity to work more closely with Robbie and Gregory and just get better at what I'm doing. And I'm uh, really excited about what we are going to learn today and how we can apply it. Thank you. Yeah. So my name is Jeev. Uh, I'm formerly Jeff Jeev Singh, but I came here for a uh, Ayurveda degree and I'm getting my master's in Ayurveda. And I also was working at the clinic, the Ayurveda clinic. However, they're closing that down, so I won't have a source of income, so I feel like I gotta create my own. And I've kind of had this idea boiling down for a while now, and it's uh, pretty much creating an academy uh, where I can teach uh, Ayurveda to, to the masses, because I think everyone deserves to learn that. And also with that, create products, uh, like you said, there's like no jobs for majors, not in the U.S. at least, so part of that is to actually create a PK clinic myself, uh, not affiliated with the school, um, just because, you know, I don't know, the school has a different agenda, I feel like I have a different vision, however, the whole thing is to create jobs and uh, make that like a mainstream thing, at least in the U.S. and then the whole wild world, um, so like, the tradition that I come from, uh, of idea is a lot more than just a physical body expert. Is what that's what they normally teach here in Ayurveda is how to treat the physical body. But a proper idea uh, deals with the three bodies, which is the physical body, the astral body, which is your emotional bodies, filled with your chakras and stuff like that, and then your causal body, which is just built up of ideas. It's very abstract. That stuff you only get into when you meditate and you know you go on deeper level access to the body. So my whole idea is to create a system uh, implementing those three bodies and uh, create a whole um, PK clinic, like I was saying, um, in the near future, once I get my degree and you know, get more experience and knowledge. So. Thank you. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is me, Gaurav Nepali. Uh, I am currently enrolled as a Kongpuri student from the January. And back in my home country, I used to work in other methodologies, but I needed a much deeper understanding to work. So I think, uh, thank you, uh, Robbie, like for this uh, quiz session. Uh, I hope I will get a lot of knowledge. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Rusan Vatrai, and I'm, I'm a student here uh, in Rodin Kampro, and I'm ready to learn business. Thank you. Great. So hello everyone, uh, I'm Joe again. Uh, I am currently enrolled as a student here in, in MIU. And before that, I used to work as a chief operating officer in, in Dubai. I launched one startup, Yala Property. I cannot say if it is a successful startup, but I really learned a lot uh, during that 18 months. And so I'm here to know what did I miss in that, I mean, learn to uh, like make a new startup again, a successful business. That's it. Thank you. Okay, welcome, everybody. I just want to say one thing: it's hard for me to pronounce your names, so I'm hoping that we'll all use name tags today. Not now, but there are name tags in the upper corner, and at some point when Robbie's not talking, you can get a name tag. Okay, let's go ahead.
Shall we kick up? Names can come. But well, let's stand up in our place and let's start with one small activity. We're trying to make a small circle like David this side, Ben this side, okay. A small something you've got in this week. 